Well, you'll likely get an out-of-office reply from many of your local leaders this week. Most politicians are making an appearance at the annual League of Municipalities conference in Atlantic City. The convention is considered the networking event to attend if you want to see and be seen in New Jersey government. And this year it's playing out against the backdrop of upcoming critical elections. Senior political correspondent David Cruz reports. League of Municipalities boss Mike Serra is a man in perpetual motion this week. The League of Municipalities annual conference, this is the 108th, attracts thousands. This year, more than 15,000 people, from mayors to city clerks to zoning officers to, yes, wannabe governors who were here aplenty. We just got through one election where we have lame duck in front of us and there's a governor's race in two years. So, uh, you know, it's a, it's a rare combination of both, you know, the the, the, you know, the hard muscle work of local government coupled with, you know, sort of the, uh, the, the political rumblings of what may happen. Just stroll casually around the convention center and you will run into candidates, past, present and future, most with a plan on how to maximize their time here. You know, just networking here, there's a lot of people that you don't get a chance to see from a geographic standpoint um, because we're all the way up north and they might be in South Jersey and this is a good opportunity for a couple days just to get together, talk about the campaign and, and what we're doing in Jersey City. You said wait till this election is over, then I'll what, start thinking about it? How much thinking have you been doing on that? I haven't really had enough time to think about it because it's, as we sit here today, it's one week post-election. I really need to sit with the team and, and sit with party leadership to see if, if Mike Test is someone that they'd even want to be a statewide candidate at this point in time. I'm a party guy, so I really want to sit down with the party and see what direction they want to go in. How do you get over those last three, four percentage points that you missed out on last time? Hey, we got more votes than any Republican gubernatorial candidate, uh, second only to Tom Kane's 1985 re-election campaign. I'd like to think those people will vote for me again because I won't take them for granted. And we know what we need to do and penetrate other areas uh, to pick up another 100,000 votes to make the difference. One guy who seems to have made up his mind on this matter is Senator John Bramnick, who was prowling the halls and greeting Democrats as much as Republicans. He's expected to announce his campaign officially soonish. You come in here with an agenda, like do you have a plan on what you're going to do here over the next two, three days? I do. I'm not going to discuss that plan right now with you, but I have a very specific plan. And, you know, I'll let you know uh, in the next couple months what I did down here <laughs> to see if it worked. We're going to have to wait a couple months to learn what you did down here? Well, this is a top secret plan. Ah. You know, I've got a lot of statewide uh, thoughts. There's also work related to local government services here. Some of these people have to get recertified for their government positions. But yeah, there's a lot of cocktail receptions and networking events that take place after hours off campus. But even there, you're never too far away from someone who's thinking about running for something. Quite frankly, this is where you come to network and cultivate and hopefully bring back ideas that'll benefit your city. In addition to cultivating and networking for ideas for your city, yeah. um, might someone who's looking to run for Congress or something come to, to something like this to network yes. for that? It, 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 it is an ideal opportunity for anyone who aspires for higher office to come and meet individuals from other municipalities. Of course, the big news this year is the announcement that Tammy Murphy is running for U.S. Senate. She was not stalking the hallways this week, although she is likely to be here tomorrow when the governor, her husband, is scheduled to make a speech. Chances are he may get upstaged. I'm David Cruz, NJ Spotlight News.